Where is God in the midst of suffering and pain? Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most challenging and profound questions. Where is God in the midst of suffering and pain? Whether you're grappling with personal hardships or seeking to understand the pain in the world around us, the Bible offers deep insights and hope. We'll explore the biblical perspective on suffering, share powerful scripture, and discuss real life implications for believers. If you're searching for comfort and understanding in your struggles, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss our latest videos. Suffering and pain are universal experiences that often lead people to question the presence and goodness of God. The Bible, however, provides a profound framework for understanding suffering and assures believers of God's presence and purpose, even in the midst of their trials. This video explores the biblical perspective on suffering, examines various scriptural passages, and considers real-life implications and lessons for believers. Suffering is an inevitable part of the human condition. Whether it is due to illness, loss, persecution, or natural disasters, everyone encounters pain at some point in their lives. One of the most pressing questions that arise in such times is, where is God in my suffering? The Bible addresses this question head on, offering comfort, hope, and a deeper understanding of God's role in our pain. One, biblical perspective on suffering. The reality of suffering. The Bible does not shy away from the reality of suffering. From Genesis to Revelation, the scriptures are filled with accounts of individuals and communities experiencing profound pain and hardship. Consider Job, who suffered immense losses, or the Israelites, who endured slavery and exile. The Psalms are replete with cries of anguish and pleas for deliverance. Job suffering. Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. I will surely defend my ways to his face. Job 13.15 David's Lament How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Psalm 13.1 The Origin of Suffering the Bible attributes the origin of suffering to the fall of humanity. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, sin entered the world, bringing with it death, pain, and suffering Genesis 3. This original disobedience disrupted the perfect harmony of creation, resulting in a world marred by suffering, the fall. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Genesis 3.16 2. God's Presence in Suffering God's Empathy and Compassion One of the most comforting aspects of the biblical narrative is that God is not distant or indifferent to human suffering. God is described as empathetic and compassionate, deeply moved by the pain of his creation. God's Compassion The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34.18 The Incarnation, God with us the ultimate expression of God's empathy is found in the Incarnation. In Jesus Christ, God entered into human history and experienced suffering firsthand. Jesus' life and death demonstrate that God is intimately familiar with human pain and sorrow. The Incarnation The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1.14 3. Purpose and Suffering Spiritual Growth and Maturity The Bible often presents suffering as a means of spiritual growth and maturity. Trials and hardships can develop perseverance, character, and hope in believers. Growth Through Trials Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. James 1-2-4 Dependence on God Suffering can also lead individuals to a deeper dependence on God. When human strength and resources are insufficient, believers are reminded of their need for divine help and comfort. Dependence on God But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12.9 Testimony and Witness Suffering provides an opportunity for believers to testify to God's faithfulness and power. How Christians respond to pain can be a powerful witness to others, demonstrating the reality of their faith. Witness through suffering. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. 
These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 1 Peter 1 6 7. 4. God's Sovereignty and Goodness. Trust in God's Sovereignty. The Bible teaches that God is sovereign over all circumstances, including suffering. Believers are called to trust in God's control and purposes, even when they do not fully understand them. God's sovereignty. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 The Promise of Redemption Ultimately, the Christian hope lies in the promise of redemption. God has a plan to restore and redeem all creation, and suffering will not have the final word. This eschatological hope provides comfort and assurance in the midst of present pain. Promise of Redemption He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Revelation 21.4 5. Real Life Implications and Lessons for Believers Finding Meaning in Suffering Believers are encouraged to seek and find meaning in their suffering. This does not mean they will always understand why they suffer, but they can trust that God has a purpose and plan that is ultimately for their good and His glory. Comfort and Community Christianity teaches the importance of community and mutual support. In times of suffering, believers are called to comfort one another and bear each other's burdens. Comforting one another Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6.2 Active Compassion Suffering should also inspire active compassion. Believers are called to respond to the suffering of others with love, empathy, and practical help, reflecting God's love to a hurting world. Responding with Compassion Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. James 1.27 Conclusion Suffering and pain are deeply challenging aspects of the human experience, but the Bible offers profound insights and hope. God is present in our suffering, offering compassion, purpose, and redemption. Believers are called to trust in God's sovereignty, find meaning in their trials, and respond with love and support to those who are hurting. Lessons for believers in understanding the place of God in the midst of suffering and pain. 1. God is present in suffering. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34:18. God never abandons his people. He is always with us, especially in our suffering. 2. God understands our pain. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Isaiah 53:3. Jesus experienced suffering firsthand, making him an empathetic and compassionate savior. 3. Suffering produces perseverance. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Romans 5, 3, 4. Trials can develop our perseverance and character, leading to a stronger hope. 4. Suffering can strengthen faith. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. James 1, 2, 3. Enduring hardships can deepen and strengthen our faith. 5. Dependence on God. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12.9 Suffering reminds us of our need for God and his sufficiency. 6. God works through our suffering for good, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 God can bring good out of even the worst situations. 7. Purpose and Pain Believers are called to trust that there is a divine purpose behind their suffering, even if it is not immediately clear. 8. Comfort and Community Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6.2 Christians are encouraged to support one another in times of suffering. 9. Suffering as a Witness these have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 1 Peter 1 7 How we endure suffering can be a powerful testimony to others about the strength and reality of our faith. 10. God's Sovereignty Trust in God's control over all circumstances, even when life seems chaotic and painful. 
11. Hope of redemption. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Revelation 21 4. The promise of eternal redemption offers hope beyond present suffering. 12. Empathy and compassion for others. Suffering can cultivate empathy, enabling us to comfort and support others who are hurting. 13. Transformative power of trials. Suffering can lead to personal transformation, making us more Christ-like in our character and attitudes. 14. God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is enough to sustain us through every trial, no matter how difficult. 15. Developing resilience. Suffering can build spiritual and emotional resilience, preparing us for future challenges. 16. Eternal perspective. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4.17 Keeping an eternal perspective helps us endure present suffering with hope. 17. Act of compassion. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress. James 1.27 Our experiences of suffering should inspire us to act compassionately towards others in distress. 18. God's faithfulness. Reflecting on how God has been faithful in past trials can encourage us to trust Him in current and future sufferings. 19. Witnessing God's power. Suffering can be an opportunity to witness God's power and faithfulness in delivering us and providing for us. 20. Spiritual maturity. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. James 1.4 Trials are a means by which God brings us to maturity, completing His work in us. Suffering and pain are difficult, but they are also opportunities for growth, deep in faith and witness. By understanding and embracing these lessons, believers can navigate their trials with a sense of purpose and hope, knowing that God is present and at work even in the darkest times. Thank you for watching. We hope this exploration of God's presence in the midst of suffering has brought you comfort and a deeper understanding. Remember, God is with us even in our darkest times, offering compassion, purpose, and redemption. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth discussions and spiritual growth. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts we love hearing from you. Until next time, stay blessed and stay strong in your faith.